Shake it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. My favorite sound. Something's up with this camera. Because when I press it, it doesn't record and it takes a while to reboot. Anyway, that's a story for Sony. It's not a story for you guys, but anyways. Um, yo, Dollarama is really stepping up. Like, I thought I... I thought they... Okay, well, the Dollarama that I went to only had, like, this small Pyrex, like, measuring cup, which you saw earlier when I was making the turkey and stuff like that. By the way, when I tell you the turkey... When I tell you follow word for word, bar for bar of what I did to make that turkey, because I could tell, like, especially if you're watching this and you're just like, Sagan, honestly, me and my family gave turkey a shot. And I'm, I'm talking to the Americans out there because I know your, your Thanksgiving is coming up. Literally rewatch that and make it the way that I made it. I'm not even trying to boost, but everybody was just like, it tastes like chicken, number one. And number two, how did you make it so moist? Anyways, um, but what I wanted to say was they have this Pyrex um, that's one quart. I'm sorry, well, one liter versus the one cup, which is like bigger. Dollarama is really stepping it up. Look, look at this. This is what I would have used to mash the potatoes. You need this. Like, you need... You need one of these, and it's only four bucks. Like, I have this one that I bought a few years ago, $20 from uh, Kitchen Stuff Plus. And for those of you guys that don't know what Kitchen Stuff Plus is, what can I equate it to? It's just like, it's literally in the name. It has kitchen stuff and more, like bathroom stuff sometimes and storage stuff, things like that. Anyways, rule of thumb, always go to Dollarama <laughs> first before you go to the expensive spots. But, yeah, you know me. I just come to Dollarama with a vibe and I end up with a ton of things I didn't know I needed. Let me go to the stationary section because that's my favorite next to like the beauty section. Actually, no, let me go to the beauty section first. Am I actually about to leave Dollarama without buying anything? This doesn't feel right. Guys? Do I have a story for you? I'm at Costco the other day. I walk in with my Costco card. A card I've had since 2014, maybe 2015. Anyway, I've had this card for a while. And <laughs> I walk into Costco with not only the card, but if you guys are Costco members, but if you have like the black card, like the exclusive card, you also get like an annual rebate. So they send that in the mail every year. And sometimes it'll be like, you know, hey, your rebate this year or for this past year was $30. Your rebate this year was $27. So I walk in with my card and my rebate, pretty much it looks like a check that they'll reimburse when you um, are ready to like cash out. So it's like a credit. Girl, I walked in with a rebate of $75. Now Costco, that's like maybe a couple of items here and there, but I was doing Thanksgiving shopping and I was just like, you know what? I don't want to forget this because I know my Costco bill is going to be at least 300. I get to the cash. I reach for my pocket. The card isn't there. Not only is the card not there, the check has gone missing. Missing, okay? I was livid, I was fuming. Outside, I was just like this. I was like, just pretty much checking my pockets. I was like, inside though? <laughs> I was doing jumping jacks. Jumping jacks and not in the fun kind. Like jumping jacks, like where am I going to <laughs> find this check? Because I knew it wasn't in the car. And I remember walking into Costco with the check and the card in hand because what I like, 
My nightmare is being at Costco and forgetting my Costco card. That is a nightmare for me. So I always make sure I have it with me. Now, typically I do have like my cards in my wallet, but as you guys know, I've been using the Lululemon bag almost every day. Now with using that bag, it doesn't have like card slots. It just has like pockets. So I was just like, you know, I'll just leave the Costco card with me, like with me. I get to the track, I get to the line. The lady's like, I need your Costco card. I'm like, sure, no problem. Why do I only feel my car keys? I was fuming guys. The lady's like, oh, no need to worry, it's fine. Just ask for a temporary card at the front. I'm like, yeah, but I had my, I had the rebate check for 75 bucks. And then she, and then that, at that point, she looked at me, she's like, I'm like, what does that mean? And uh, she was like, honestly, it's fine. Just go to the, the, the membership front desk or whatever. I go there, lovely guy helps me out. He's like, you know what, before I process all of this, maybe somebody brought it into Lost and Found. I was just like, oh, okay, well, I mean, I've been here like about an hour. I kind of doubt that that's happened, but why not? Let's give it a shot. I go to Lost and Found. And pretty much like I thought, it wasn't there. But I'm like, you know what? And the Lost and Found people tell me to go where? To the membership desk. I was like, I was just there. They told me to come here, but I'll go back there. I go back and the guy's like, okay, you know what? Let's just process the card for you. You get a brand new card and a great conversation. Like the person, everybody at the front desk was super sweet. Um, they had something to say about my outfit, which was <laughs> like, I mean, you're good at my books. <laughs> I got the whole, are you Ethiopian? I'm like, no, I'm Eritrean and that's fine. Or blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, I love your food. I'm like, me too. You should go to this restaurant, that restaurant, you know, the whole small talk or whatever. That whole thing happens. And we get to, all right, what are we going to do about this check? Because at this point, he's processed my card. I got a brand new photo and stuff like that. All the whole nine yards, right? That happens. And then I'm like, yeah, so about the $75 check, like what happens then? He goes, well, it's going to take two months to reissue. And at that point, I was like, you know what? I lost the card. And if it wasn't losing a card in the check, I wouldn't have had to like meet all you great people. So like maybe it's fine. And I'm always at Costco. So if I get it now or two months from now, it's really not a big deal. Two months from now is Christmas for God's sake. So it's like, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. He goes, okay, if anything shows up, I'll give you a call. I leave, load up the car. I kid you not, not 20 minutes after I leave, somebody hands in the check. I get a call. They're like, hey, Sagan, you were just here. I'm like, yeah. Well, we found your check. I'm like, what? <laughs> They're like, you can grab it anytime. Um, I'm here until six, ratata ratate. If that doesn't work, you can come in for Sunday. And as you know, on Monday we're closed. It was Thanksgiving in Canada on Monday. Now, 20 minutes for me after leaving Costco, I'm, in the, I'm at the next grocery store. I'm at a different grocery store trying to grab more things for Thanksgiving. So I knew I wasn't gonna be able to go or make it on time. So I don't go. I also don't call them because I'm just like, like Costco picking up on Thanksgiving weekend. Like I don't wanna put them through all of that and it's fine, I'm not pressed. Like I told the guy, I'm like, I'm always here whether it's gone forever or reissued to me, it's not a big deal. I get a call today, today's Tuesday. He goes, hey, we're waiting for you on Sunday. Ooh, so I'm sorry, powder just came in my eye. He was like, hey, we're waiting for you on Sunday and um, you didn't show. And I'm like, you know what? Sorry about it. That's on me. Um, but Sunday was just way too hectic. I was preparing for Thanksgiving. He's like, honestly, we were crazy busy too. So don't even worry about it. Just know I'm back, I'm here. And your check is also still here. So. I have a ton of other errands to do. So I'm just gonna get ready <laughs> for the day. And by the day, I mean like it's already four. Oh, no, it's not four, it's almost five. And I have about 30 minutes to pick up this check. So I thought I'd share that story with you guys because I found it hilarious and I'm getting work done. I'm like right in the middle of editing 
and posting to like YouTube shorts and stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, I actually have to be somewhere. It's not a, I'm gonna be staying at home all day situation. And I honestly have no business wearing makeup, but I don't know, I kind of felt like it a little bit. And this is like my five minute makeup situation. Don't look at my nails, my nails are atrocious. My only thing is if I'm making like a big meal, like a big feast, I hate, hate cooking with long nails. Ugh. I can't do it. I also get like super scared. I'm gonna chop off my nail. It's gonna show up on the dish or something, like something gross like that. Like I, I just honestly just can't. So anyway, I'm just gonna apply some mascara. Oh my God. And um, on that Costco trip, the reason why I was kind of like excited to use a $75 like rebate credit thing was because they had like one of my favorite perfumes on sale and um, not even on sale, they had it in stock. And if you guys are Costco members, they typically, it's like very few and far between where they have like perfumes um, on like the floor. Uh, so I go and there's like a swarm of people and I'm like, all right, if they have what I like, I'm just gonna grab it. And I have this rebate thingamajiggy, so I'll just treat myself. And it's about like the same price. The perfumes were like 90 and the rebate was for like 75. Then I get to like, I pretty much have to pay everything. And the bill comes out to like nearly $400. Like I kid you not, it was like three, 37 I wanna say or, or 57, I can't remember. Point is though, people are very kind. And I really, I was expecting like it being reissued. I was expecting like, when you know when, People, especially in retail, be like, yeah, we'll give you a call. I'm like, no, you're not. But then they did, and I was just like, oh, thanks. I should probably film my October favorites today or something. Okay. I'm gonna take off this Mendel. I also need to head over to the hair store, maybe, because, like, my, my thingy-majiggy is, like, done. And I don't use Nairobi anymore. I use Lotta Body or something like that. Cause this is way too expensive. It's insanely, it's just too much. It's good, but it's too much. And I use it way too, I use it way too much like almost every day, right? So for the economy and the practicality, practical, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. The practicality, being practical is what I'm trying to say. What the hell? Should I get myself a nice coffee? I don't know. My only thing is it's like lately, I think because since being back from California, I haven't been able to like drink more than one coffee because when I was out there, I was like active. I was like hiking and I was really running off of one coffee in the morning and water the rest of the day and I was fine but then I had coffee in the evening and I could not sleep and by evening I just mean like the afternoon and I couldn't sleep so now my body's used to having like one coffee in the morning I'm just like what happened to us like you know but any users I'm thinking maybe I should just treat myself to one vanilla iced coffee thing is in Toronto in October specifically it's, it gets really interesting, the weather. Like, it will be so cold. Your house will feel like an icebox. And then the next day, the sun will come out and be like, hey, did you miss me? Let me provide you some heat. And then you're just like, but wait, sun? Um, I just turned on the heat and like, you're back. And now my house is incredibly hot. You're just like, well, that's just the name of the game this time around a year and now like I remember like clockwork we would have we would shift ourselves with gobbies and by gobbies they're just like really thick like you know blankets and we would just like you know go through the October month like really you know holding it down because we knew the 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 up and down October weather has on us is insane so any users. I am going to be so late and they're going to keep this thing for me again. Let me just put on. It's 
Sorry, that was my deodorant. <laughs> Let's go. So I got the chat. Wait, I can't show you guys like the full on thing because it's like personal information. But trust and believe, I got that check back. Listen. Oh. Let me put this in here for safekeeping. Also, I don't get why my hands are so dry. Ugh. Okay. First off, I walk in there, and the guy that was helping me out was literally like, Hi, like, oh my god, they're so nice at this Costco. It's insane. Anyways, he had it. <laughs> he had the check behind his phone, like in between uh, his phone and his case. Like you know how sometimes like you'll leave important document. <laughs> Yeah, I actually do that too. Actually, you know who does that? My parents, like they'll put like a phone number or something or like a card or like a contact like behind the phone. And he legitimately was just like, girl, I had it here the entire time. I was just like, <laughs> thank you. Um, so any Hoosers, I just feel like it's in, it's only right that we have an iced coffee. It's just only right. <laughs> My only thing is, I know they're not gonna. Oh! Jesus, wave us, mom. I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't know what happened to this stand, but it was doing so well, and then now it's just like sabur sabur. I don't understand. Wait, hold on. Let me figure this out. Is it good Tim though? Okay, it should be good now. Um, anyways, I know they're not gonna accept a Costco Kusai. I know they're gonna not gonna accept a Costco uh, check for $75, but I don't know. I feel it's in our spirit to do it. It's sunny outside, it's good vibes, it's extremely warm. Mr. Truck, please don't hit me. Anyways, so my only thing is it's andemarats and Are we gonna grab an ice cap or are we gonna grab an iced coffee from McDonald's? What's gas like? It's looking like an ice cap. <laughs> okay, so let me just reverse adding I hope this doesn't fall because it was doing so well should we get out this way now if we're wanting for iced coffee it's probably best to go this way anyways literally that guy literally made my day so freaking sweet get this he's from the UK and he came with his boyfriend um, to just like you know try something new and he shared with me it was between Canada and um, Australia, like, I'm like, which commonwealth are you gonna pick? Like, you know what I mean? So we picked Canada. Um, and I was like, nice choice. I like your choice. And he uh, came out here with um, his boyfriend and he was like, cause he's the one that asked if I was Ethiopian. And then he's like, oh, I didn't mean anything. I hope I didn't offend. I'm like, no, not at all. Like, it's totally fine. Um, but he has Ethiopian friends or he has one Ethiopian friend or something like that Anyways, I was just like yo, there's like bare like, you know, air trans in the UK Like there's so many of us that are out there. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, like hello um, But any hoosers, I gotta make my way back to London. It would be nice to I don't have family out there per se um, but it would be nice to uh, visit, I guess. My only thing is, should I wait for like... You know a four-way stop? You'll just be looking if the person is going to like charge it like in your right away. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if it's your turn or if it's their turn, you're just watching them like slowly like... <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I would like to travel to Europe. We. I'm telling. Tell yesterday though, yesterday was a trip. Yesterday was not this warm at all. It was like 
I think eight degrees yesterday. Um, and now it's 22. So it's just like, oh. I wish I could just like stay like this, you know? But anyways, are we actually getting an ice cap? I feel like it's hot yet, like in October. Oof. But I'm hot guys, like I'm absolutely, I love when the sun hits me, you have no idea. And the SPF is on. Sunburn wear, melanin here. Okay, there's just a lot. I can't, I can't, I can't, like I couldn't see. <laughs> there's high traffic. It is 5 p.m. So you're just going to be safe, Steve. You know what's popping up in Toronto? Like, you know when like one person starts like a trend, like everybody like, you know, follows the trend of like stores and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can hear me properly. But one thing that I noticed, it like that's opening up everywhere in Toronto is dispensaries and uh, sneaker uh, resell, uh, resell stores, like resell shops or boutiques and stuff like that. It is everywhere. Like this is wild. Wait, my God, there's, ugh, let me through. There's so many more cars in that line now. But I'll be honest, I've never seen a drive through line longer than I've seen it in America. I'll be honest with you. American drive through lines? It's like, are you guys afraid to go inside? I'm confused. And this is not during the pandemic. We, Dahana Toe, thank you. Ska, ska, ska. Damn, damn. For real? Thank you, thank you. You're that pressed to get a coffee? Oh my gosh. Anyway, listen, drive through lines in America. I've never, I've, I just never, I've never seen it. I've never seen it entirely so crazy than in America. Hi there. Hi, can I have a small ice cap please? That's it? That's it, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. I thought she was gonna say, I had to brace myself because sometimes I'd be like, no, ice cream, ice cream machine is gone or whatever the hell. Anyways, um, drive through lines in the States, best mom's gonna just, and the thing is I'm not generalizing America like how Americans generalize Canada. We, <laughs> the way Americans talk, um, man, they'll be like, it will just be top three cities when I'm having conversations with Americans, Vancouver, Toronto, obviously off top, and Calgary. Those are the three cities that these Americans talk to me about. That is it, like beyond that, where, I mean, Montreal sometimes, maybe, but those are the top three cities and they'll just be like, Canada. And I'm like, I'm nowhere near Calgary or Vancouver, like at all. But any hoosers, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the drive-through lines in LA, insane, Oakland insane atlanta like it's just everywhere like the drive-through lines before the pandemic after the pandemic no change but anywho um i think i might go for like a long walk because i'll have this ice cap which will keep me up at night and i have a lot of work to do i have like three no two long vlogs to edit i have to edit the oakland san francisco vlog in the LA vlog, have to edit that. And posts for Instagram reels and uh, TikToks, especially. So this guy is pressed, man. The guy that cut me off, pressed. Like the car was still running and he was grabbing his coffee. Like relax, bro. Okay. Had that one small ice cup? Yes, please. Okay, I'm just gonna grab my um my wallet thing. Here you go. And I'll pay by card, please. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a great day. If you guys are from Toronto and you know anything about Dufferin, then you know it's the worst street to be on during rush hour. It really is. And if you aren't from Toronto and you're visiting, avoid Dufferin during rush hour, honestly. You won't get anywhere. Are you, yeah? Thank you, oh, you're so sweet, thank you. 
Wow, an angel. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys are partying like the Red Sea for me. Thank you. Thanks. Whee! Thanks. Well, they're long gone by now, but like the traffic guys, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys probably can't, but there's rows and on rows of cars. Any hoosers. Let's take our first good Tim. That good them was too fast. No, my chest is cold. That was good. That was delicious. All right, so I'm just gonna shut this off. Focus on the road. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'm actually going to try to learn how to drive manual. Just waiting on my sister to help me out. This is also the Fenty gloss that went viral. Oh, wee, hello. Yeah, so this is the Fenty gloss that went viral in hot cocoa, no? Yeah, hot chocolate heat. Ooh, I forget it gets tingly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's probably like in stores now, but before I went on my trip, it was like sold out everywhere. So, I don't know why I got like cute to get, you know, to learn how to drive standard, but it is what it is. I love how you're waiting on somebody and they have time to text in the group chat. Anyways, it's all good. I'm going to try to figure out how to put this on the stand um, so it doesn't move because I don't have like my thing. That's in my car, but what? What? I have to show you at least how to turn it on. It's the key, no? Come on, girl. No. Seriously? Yeah, I have to like. Wee! It looks so real with the three pedals. <laughs> You're crazy. Seriously? Just, yeah. just tell me. No, Sagan. And then when you hear how it stalls, it's gonna like some you. I'll show you properly. Just get out. <laughs> Just get out. <laughs> Leave right now. It's the end I love of you and me. It's too late, and I can't wait for you to be gone. Whoa! Is this recording? It's a, it's majority me. It's like a bit of your shoulder, if that's okay. That's fine. Unless you're gonna charge me for your shoulder. No, no. Okay. We're gonna see. We want to give the people what they want, hey? So, if it's shoulder, I need shoulder prices. <laughs> okay. Well, we can go through the basics right now. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Okay. So, that's how cool is that? <laughs> okay. So there are three pedals, right? Mm -hmm. And this is like your regular gas pedal. Yeah. That's your brake. Okay. And then this pedal, which is not the last, it's technically the first, this is your clutch. Okay. So the whole deal about it is like the clutch is what engages this, like the shifter, which is, this is the gear shifter. It doesn't move unless you engage the clutch. Okay. Yeah. So first things first, actually, you gotta be wearing comfortable shoes. These are comfortable. Good. Yeah. Reason I say that is you just gotta like, be comfortable with pressing on the clutch. Like you gotta like crank it. You're gonna have to adjust the seat so it's not, you know, hitting the steering wheel. Like you just gotta be super comfortable. That's first, first and foremost. Okay. So this, if you wanna show the shifter. Why are there numbers though? Yeah, I'll show you right now. Oh. So. Oh, the nails are done too, right? Come on, baby. <laughs> Hold on. 
What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Um, each car is different. Okay. Some cars even go up to six, seven, whatever, so many speeds. Each car is different. This is a Volkswagen Jetta. Okay. Um, and it's a five speed. And it's five speed because there's number five. Yeah. Some cars, um, this is reverse. The yeah. R's for reverse. Right. Some cars have it down here, like Hondas and stuff. Okay. They'll have it down here. And this is pretty much your grid to show you where these gears are. So okay. what's important to know is the R that's here is also right next to the one. Yeah. So the first gear, technically. Mm -hmm. um, so as a safety mechanism to actually engage the R mm -hmm. uh, to actually reverse the car, mm -hmm. you got to push the clutch in, mm -hmm. press down. No. So this pops, yeah. And you pop it, and then that gets you into the reverse. That's only for reverse. That is just for reverse. Okay. And, you know, you, there's ways to double check it, but, like, the car will obviously reverse, and then for folks seeing you outside, like, the reverse lights will be on. That's how you reverse. Yeah. And it's good to know because you're not going to be in first gear by accident. Right, right. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Oh, so that's okay. the safety mechanism okay. that is built in. And then some other cars, like I said, like the R will be here, and then you just move it and then, and then go, down. go down. I yeah. have nothing there, so it doesn't go. Um, Wouldn't it make sense for the R to be backward? Like, because you're reversing? Like, R forward is like you're moving forward, no? No, but it's just like where the. Where the. Where the. Yeah, or no, where like the gear is. I think where the. Like where it's situated inside the gearbox. Inside the gear, okay. Um, but you get what I mean. Right? But I get what you mean. Okay. Like it should be further out, but it's like on the Prindle. Here. That's the second one after, park. You know, park reverse. Park reverse. So but I don't I'm really just saying, know. Like when you're, re I guess when you're driving, it's not like you're past. Okay, I get it. I get. It. And you're gonna see the RPMs kind of move around. So it's just within its threshold, and then you'll hear. Obviously, you'll hear a loud noise, and then that's the car letting you know that, like, hey. There's like another gear out there, which is second gear or third gear, that can like facilitate the kind of speed you're trying to go. Okay, so one. Okay, so I'm in one yeah. speed, and let's say for instance I'm in like a residential area. Yeah. But then I'm picking up. I'm I'm pressing on the gas and picking up speed. The car will will be like uh, uh like move it to gear two. Yes. Because like you're um, gonna hear the sound, and it's like gear two is just gonna let you know that like hey, you just gotta. Like, you got to go faster, but first gear isn't going to do that for you. Okay. Like, you got to get into the second gear. So, like, second gear, third gear, like, it's good for, like, the streets, you know? Like, yeah. just local stuff. So, when you're on the highway, you're going four and five? Yeah, primarily four and five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, so, mm -hmm. one last question. So, like, say, for instance, like, you're picking up speed. Mm -hmm. It's it's like, okay, we'll go to second gear. Yeah. But like, say for instance, you're on the highway. Yeah. And then you come across traffic. I wish they, yeah. I wish they can see you right now. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're doing this. I'm doing one of these. <laughs> She's asking me a question. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so say for instance, you're on gear five. You're on yeah. the fastest gear. Mm -hmm. And you get hit with like rush hour traffic. Yeah. The car is going to be like, oh, you're slowing down. Change it to a lower gear. Yes. Oh, that's okay. more of like an immediate, like intermediate kind of way because then you have to kind of downshift because you're just like, oh, okay, like cars are kind of piling up. I got to slow down. Right. So then you would downshift from four to five. And then if you have that kind of room, you'll eventually just go into neutral, which is just shaking it and then just rolling on the gas. Uh, sorry, rolling with the brake and you're slowing down. But what if the car all of a sudden like, you know, um, people are picking up their pace. Yeah. And you're starting to go fast. Right. Um, going into first gear now, it makes no Doesn't sense. Because, no like, the car still has, like, energy. Mm. So you might actually want to, like, just jump right into two um, or three, depending, yeah. to see if it's still within that threshold of, like, oh, okay, like, uh, gear or uh, speed three can kind of maneuver this type of speed you're going at. Got you. Um, Okay, so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You always need the e-brake. Um, this car is a bit older, so it doesn't have hill assist, which is pretty much if you were on a hill, the car would, uh, wouldn't roll back if you had hill assist as an option. This doesn't, so if you're on a hill and there's a red light, the car will roll. Oh, Jesus. But then if you're at a red light and it's downhill, 
<clears throat> you're just like, wee, and like you're just going down the hill. So it depends and you kind of have to just know, you got to feel the car. So emergency brake is the only way to park the car? Yeah, you always want the emergency brake on. Hang on, hang on. So say yeah, for instance, uh, if you're you're slowing down the car, you, mm -hmm. you hit your, your foot's on the brake. Yeah. And let's say for instance, you're like in gear two or whatever. Okay. So now you've fully stopped the car. I can't. The only thing, huh? I can't fully stop the car in gear two. I have to fully stop the car neutral. Okay, girl. Sorry. Yeah. So, okay. Because if you're like in gear two and... What's neutral? Where's neutral the is the shake. Like, I'm just lined up. Okay. This is neutral. And then this is... When I'm like this, and depending if I'm on a very flat surface, I can go and then take the car, uh, take the key out. The shake is in every standard car? You have to do a shake all the time. Okay. Yeah, because this is just letting you know like, I'm not in three, I'm not in two, I'm at a red light. Because if you're at gear two, <clears throat> that's gear two, and then you're, can't stop. you're approaching a red light, Yeah. the car will stop for you, babes. Because you finna stall. <laughs> the car will stop for you. Okay. We don't want that. So. The other thing I want to say is because the shifter is set up like one and two, mm -hmm. three and four and five. Yeah. There's, you know, when you're first starting out, you might actually, same way as ours, kind of the safety mechanism. I can never go into reverse like this. I'd have to pop it like that. Okay. But there is the slight chance that right here, you want to say that you're in first gear, right? Because you just went up, you followed the map. Yeah. But no, I'm in third gear. Well, yeah, no. So wait, but I, I you, need... okay, do that again. So for example, we know that the R is like this. The, yes. I'm in reverse right now. Yeah. If I want, I'm always going to start the car in first gear. But if I just quickly go like that, I'm in third gear. And that's not good. That's not good. So like, how do I make sure I'm in first gear all the time mm. when I need to be in first gear? Mm. I'm going to go gear two. I'm going to engage the clutch. I'm going to go gear two, gear one. Ah, oh, Speed okay. two, speed one. Just so I know my car isn't, sorry, isn't... the shifter's in the same line right. that okay. I need to be in. Okay. Otherwise, if I'm starting here, I'm in third, third, fourth. So you can't, you, you essentially can't, you essentially can't start the car in, you have to always start the car in gear one. Yeah, you want to do that for sure. Got it. Because it's just like, it's a, it's a quick, it only lets you go 10 kilometers anyways before you have to switch out. So first gear is going to get you to, um, you know, in and out of parking lots or whatever. But to maintain speed mm -hmm. as you're getting out of the parking lot, mm -hmm. you got to adjust. You got to go to two. But you can't get to three without going One, through, two. through them all. Got yeah. you. Okay. Um, so that's how we're going to do it. E-brake is always on. Yep. Um, and depending on where you're at, my car's neutral and I'm in an e-brake, the car's just going to move because it's a neutral. It doesn't know. So is there anything, is there, is there a park? Is there anything? No, there is no P. For a clutch. Okay. Or no. for a thing. Okay. It's literally, that's your park, the e-brake. And depending on if you're uphill or downhill, you got to shove it into a gear just so it doesn't move around. Um, you know, you can do whatever gear. But for me, typically, like, by the driveway, it's relatively flat. I keep it in neutral. It's not the best thing to do. Well, it depends. But always keep the e-brake on so it's not moving it's not around. Rolling. Um, so that's what you need to know, the basics. But the clutch and the shifter, like... The clutch and the gas actually need to kind of communicate and then that's where you kind of have to hear and feel the clutch kind of give you like this pass. Like you kind of have to feel this like, okay. Release? Yeah, it's like a oh. bit of like a, they call it a sweet spot. I hate that because it's like when you're trying to learn on YouTube, they're like, yeah, you'll just know. But like, you really will just know, unfortunately. But say for instance, you're listening to like really loud music. Let's just say that. Uh-huh. You can look at the RPMs. Oh, okay. You can look at this little speedometer. So. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
We're not going to switch. We're going to... Not yet, man. You have to see how my <laughs> pedals are. You want to play the music, babes. You got to slow down. Count, you know. On the eighth count. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So, I'm turning on the car. How? I don't know. Key in the ignition. <laughs> I'm engaging the clutch. Boom. Clutch is down. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. You know when you start a car in an automatic? Yes. Your foot is on the yeah, brake? on the brake. Is your foot on the brake and the clutch? No. It's just uh, on the clutch. Let me find out. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. It's but hovering. because I'm in neutral right now, <laughs> if I'm being honest, you guys, I'm in neutral right now, so my foot is just on uh, the, the clutch. But for educational purposes, you want it to be like hovered onto the brake, but completely engaged with the clutch for sure. Because what if you turn on the car and there's a and you're on a hill and the car's behind you? You need to be able, you need to, be able to hit, hit that the brake. brake right away. Okay, yeah. got you. So, oh my god, you want to hear something funny? Back in, uh, <laughs> you are not gonna start. We're not gonna start this car. No, I'm gonna start the car. You're I'm just not. saying. One time it was like really cold, yeah. and mom wanted to like heat my car up before I went to work. Oh, wait. And she's like, "Girl, it just won't turn on." I'm like, "Ah, she didn't engage the clutch." So really and truly, like, it's not gonna go. It's just gonna be like this. Oh wait, whoa, whoa. you're in you're hitting the clutch I in got order to turn the car on? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So without it, the car is just gonna be like, um. You better get used to that sound because that's what happens when you stall. This all the stuff lights up. Girl, I thought you went for gas. Oh girl, it just came back on. I swear I did. I have the receipt. I have the receipt. But it's fine. Just use that and use that. Don't show. Are we good? <laughs> so, I'm engaging the clutch. As soon as I engage the clutch, what happens? Car turns on. Okay. 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 Car's on. Neutral. Mm -hmm. I can let go of the clutch. Because I'm in neutral, the e-brake is on. Okay. I'm gonna take the e-brake down. Okay. And kinda get We're rolling. moving. Ah. We're moving on neutral. We're moving on neutral. Which just so happens to be because we're in an environment where the road is kinda hilly. So that's why I have my brake down. Uh, I have my foot on the brake. Okay. That's my right foot on the brake. Yes. So now I wanna go forward. Right. So I'm gonna engage the clutch again to move this around. Yes. Like this doesn't move if I don't use my, my left foot on the clutch. Right. So, I want to get into first gear just so I can get the car rolling. Yeah. And then it can move into second gear and we can fly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now. Second. This is two. I'm going into one. One. Yeah. I'm going to turn the lights on. My foot's still on the clutch. And I'm letting on the go. clutch? Yeah. Okay. And now I'm letting go and I'm just on the gas, like just like an automatic car. Interesting. I'm at a red light. I got to press the clutch down go into neutral and then it tur just turned green yeah but my car still has some juice in it yeah. I just went straight to the second gear boom oh, okay I gotta slow down there we go so so you're on two I'm on two and I just have the gas down okay let's just do second gear sorry I'll go let's go see it's going two, but then I'm like I have third gear to help me Okay. Yeah. But you're on third gear now. I'm on third gear and I'm literally using the car just like an automatic car. I'm using my, my gas and brake, gas and brake. Because I have no reason. You I have no reason to change. Engage the clutch, yeah. I have Got no reason. You. Okay. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. You're still on third. I'm still on third. Like third gear is like the perfect gear. Okay. Just because, like, I don't need to hear the sounds of, like, second gear, like, kind of, like, crying for another gear. Okay. So, I'm approaching a yellow. Yeah. And it's turning red. I'm going into my clutch. Yeah. And I'm going into neutral to get the car to a complete stop. Wait, hang on. So, from third. Yeah. You can, en you engage, you engage your clutch and yeah. went neutral? Yeah. So, it's not like you engaging your clutch going three, two, two one. one. No. In this case, like, I was still only going, like, 40, 50 kilometers. So, I can just go into neutral and then whatever. But if I'm on the 401 going, like, just zipping through. You can't do from fifth gear to neutral. It's just, it's just a lot. Okay. I would say. Like, I would like to do a little bit of, like, a downshift before I get the car to completely stop. Because, like, there's so much... 
going on? Yeah, you kind of have to go backwards if you're going 120 kilometers. Okay. I would maybe do a little downshift, but it depends. Like it's a it's a very like not reactive, but like you kind of just have to be on it. Like you got to stay focused yes. when you drive. Yeah, okay. So the car is rolling a little bit. Yeah. But how do I do that? I don't have hill assist in the car. I literally teeter between the clutch and the gas. And I'm just letting the clutch know that, hey, the gas is going to take over in a second. <laughs> but the clutch is like, hey, if you don't, the car is going to stop. And I'm like, I got it. Don't worry. So now. Wait, I thought you were on neutral. Oh, I had to. Sorry, guys. I had to move. I had to move it. I had oh, to okay. move it. Sorry. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I'm in third gear right now. Yeah. I'm in third gear right now, gas and brake, gas and brake. Like pretty basic stuff. But when you're, okay, so what, what does stalling mean then? I don't understand. Stalling means like I'm at a red, sorry, um, like I'm just going, yeah. like I'm pressing on the gas, yeah. and I haven't changed my, my gears at all, yeah. and the kilometers are dwindling. Like, and it's coming down to like zero like and the car just stops moving because it's not it's not being engaged in like it's not moving like you just let it sit in third gear okay so if you just let it sit and there's no more speed there's no more gas the car is just like oh, okay it goes to a complete stop and then the car stalls it's also the timing too like if you don't let go of the clutch to press on the gas at the at the right time Okay. The car will stop. If you don't let go of the clutch and press on the gas. The at the right time. At the right time. Okay. Like if I let go of the clutch too fast. Yeah. The car will turn off. Damn. Okay. So I'm just approaching a red light and I'm pressing down. I don't want to stall. I'm going to hit the clutch and go into neutral. I would stall had I not gone into neutral. I would have stalled. Okay. So that would that means if you just pressed on the brake, stopped, and would it yet you didn't change your gear. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. And like it literally, if for some reason I thought I was in an automatic car and like you could just press the brake and be done with it. Yeah. That's okay. what would have made the car stall. Okay. So I'm in second gear now. We're gonna hit another red. So I'm doing 40 kilometers. Oh no, it's green. So city driving, you're really going between one, two, and three. Yeah, primarily two and three, but yeah. Two and three, okay. You'll, like, you only really get to one again if your car is at a complete stop and there's like no juice to even skip a, uh, to skip a gear. Like you gotta go, you gotta start back at one. Gotcha. Because if you start at one when there's like still a little, like, you know, a little gas in the car, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, enough it's a kilometers, bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. it could just be, it gets really loud. Because first gear is like, yo. Why, am, why, why, why are you here? Using, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, my name's not on the list. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> so. All right. Okay. There are three pedals. Clutch, brake, and gas. Okay. So, the name of the game. So, wait, let me point it out. So, clutch. Brake. Brake. Gas. Okay. And the name of the game is to make sure that you press on uh, the clutch every time you use the shifter, but there's a timing thing that you need to um, master so the car doesn't stall between the clutch and the gas. Okay. So I'm just going to move. Like, I'm just going to move the car a little bit and watch my feet. Okay. So I'm going to press down on the clutch to engage the shifter. Okay. I'm in first gear. Uh-huh. And... I'm just about to let go just a little bit. Okay. You're gonna feel like kind of like a kick to know that like you're free to go and just use the gas. Okay. And the clutch, I'm still pressing down on the clutch, but I'm pressing, sorry, I'm letting go of the clutch while pressing down on the gas. On the gas. And oh, then the car is rolling. Yeah. And now the car is rolling. Okay. And then there's gonna be a kick to let me know that like, oh, we're good now. And then I'm just like literally, clutches off the thing and I'm Got good okay. and I'm gonna press the clutch again to either go into neutral what just stopped the car Me. neutral yeah but and did brake. you press the brake okay yes. gotcha. and brake okay. okay 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 so I can do this I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna watch for any cars 
I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. And this curse there. There's not a curve there. Oh, there is. So yeah, right now I'm like teeter tottering between clutch and gas. Yes. And I'm going clutch, clutch, clutch. And then I'm letting go of the clutch and I'm just pressing down on the gas. And this is first gear doing its thing. First gear. This is first gear. You see how loud that is? And I just hit 20 kilometers. It's just not enough. Yeah. So I'm gonna press the clutch again, go down into second gear. Yeah. And the car goes quiet because it knows it has more of like a threshold. Got it, okay. For speed. And then the second gear is gonna be like, no can do, and then you're gonna go into third gear. Third gear. But I'm just approaching a speed, speed bump. bump. So I'm gonna quickly press the brake, get into the clutch, go back down to second gear, climb over the hump. Got you. Also, I don't know if you guys booked this yet, but um, when she mentions it, <laughs> when she mentions Jakob, it's uh, in reference to the car because she's named her car Jakob. So okay. just a little bit of a <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a background. Do you want to do you want to share how you came up with Jakob or? Yeah, sure. So it's a Volkswagen, and it's a Jetta. That's the model Jetta. And I was just like Jacob, and then I was like Jakob. <laughs> so now it's Jakob. So, and yeah. um, it's stuck, you know. It's just super important that when the car is at a complete stop, and say this was a parking lot where you had to like grab an ice cap or whatever, you just want to make sure that you at least have the e-brake on. Yeah, always the, though. Yeah, always. Like yeah. on a hill, on not a hill. Like that is a way. That is essentially like your, your parking. That is your P. That's your P. Yeah. That is your P. Okay. Comment down below and see if uh, how many times saying we'll stall. <gasps> That's Seriously? a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that is. And good then one. everyone's gonna be like, saying you're so amazing. Zero. <laughs> you're not gonna stall. You're not gonna stall. <laughs> you know what I wish I did though, and I kind of regret not doing. I came in with zero knowledge about this. I kind of yeah. wish I did like YouTube tutorials about it. No, it's I fine. I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. Like you're going to do a YouTube tutorial and they're going to say like, you just got to feel it, you know, like. Because uh, I'll be honest, that's what someone would say like back in the day. I'll be like, well, I, like, how do you know when to switch? When to move it's it, yeah. Like, it's just a feeling. And I'm like, but it that's is. not a thing. It's unfortunate. It's unfor like you wish there was like a magic bullet like, oh, like this will happen and then you do it. But it's like, no, you just feel it. You hear it. And then you just keep it pushing. Trust me. Okay. Okay, right. let's switch around. Oh, now I'm nervous to switch, though. Pray for me. <laughs> you guys don't understand. This is her baby. Like, legitimately. I her uh, child. Created, and it's like the magic bullet would be an automatic car. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> so, I'm shorter than you. That's fine. Can I, can I at least... Absolutely. Move? Move. Listen, you have to wear comfortable shoes, yeah. and you need to adjust the seat. Because that is gonna help you time oh, when shoot. to press the clutch. Ugh. If you're too far away from the clutch, no. That this is just in line with checking your side mirrors and everything. You gotta adjust the seat for sure. Okay. Well, yeah. Alright. You're okay? Yep. <laughs> I'm just not as tall. And not that like there's like crazy traffic or whatever, but Yeah. Just for safety. Okay. So hang on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um your left foot. Yes. That's the only foot you use for the clutch. You don't use the left for anything else like the brake. No, we are not the Jabberwockies, babe. We don't need to use two feet everywhere. <laughs> left foot is just the clutch. That's it. Okay. Okay, so the car is on. Oh, let's actually start it without... Go ahead. Here. Press the clutch. I'm press down on the clutch. Whoa, this thing goes bad. You gotta crank it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to go closer. I'm telling you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it went that crazy. Yeah, you. that's why, like, it's almost like, I don't know. Because I the, came up with the, not I came up with the term, but like, you really do feel like you're cranking it. Like you're cranking yeah. that soldier boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, good job. Okay. Good. The car's in neutral and you have the e-brake on. Brake? 
Bra yeah, press, break, right? press the brake right now. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Is your foot on the clutch? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, let go of the clutch for a second. Keep the foot on It'll the brake. It will stall. It won't, because you're in neutral. It will not stall. Let it go. It's gone. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So just breathe. <laughs> like, spread the toes out. Like, I can just feel your toes doing this. <laughs> Her toes on the clutch, like, just relax. Oh, the spread rosary. Them out. Oh, well, I need this. I don't want it to. Maybe I should just put the thing. Do you want it in there? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. This is perfect. Because I did. I don't want to move this at yeah. all. Okay, great. So should we start again? No, no, no. This okay. is fine. Okay. So the foot's on just on the brake and not on the clutch. Yes. Okay, we want to go straight. Yeah. You're on a bit of a hill. From what I could see, but anytime the, the car isn't rolling even. But anyways. But I'm on the brake though. That's Why true. is the car making noise? <laughs> Come on, leave Jakob alone. <laughs> okay. Okay. <Pratt. laughs> uh, um, okay. <laughs> let go of the brake for a second. No. Let go of everything. No. You're in neutral. Nothing's You're... gonna happen. You're in neutral. Nothing's gonna happen. See? Why so is it not rolling? I'm not on a hill. That's what I was expecting. It looks like it's pretty hilly, but you're pretty flat, which is fine. But trust Wait, me. So when Bob drives, when Bubba, when Bubba was driving standard, why was he going backward? Because he was on Caledonia. Like <laughs> you need to be on a hill, hill, babes. Okay. Okay. So press down on the clutch, clutch, and then now this is gonna start moving. Yes. Right? Oh, can I can I see something? Yeah. It doesn't. It's still moving. No. Oh. Oh. And then don't you feel like almost like you feel when you put the clutch in the when you put when your foot is on the clutch and you're moving the gear box? It's almost like you you can feel the gears kind of line up like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. Make sure you want to start at in one. first gear. Yes. So to make sure you're in the right track, go to two and one. That is perfect. Yeah. Now. Huh. Now, the foot's on the clutch. Yes. Take the right foot. Yeah. And press on the gas just a little bit. Let it roll. What are you doing right now? I don't know. No, no, because the RPMs are moving, so I want to know what where your foot is. My f I, just like you said. So... My foot is on the clutch. My left is on the clutch. Yeah. And I'm engaging the, the gas. You're pressing down on the gas. But then I'm also releasing a little bit of my left foot. Good. Now, keep going. Keep doing that. And the car will move. What? The car is moving! <laughs> yes, the car is moving. Okay. Turn around or something. There's yeah, a fence. There's a fence. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> sure. Right. Turn around. Good job, Sagan. I'm so proud of you. Seriously? Good job. Good freaking job. You are Keep a good teacher. Straight. You're Keep a good teacher. Straight. Keep going straight. Okay. Keep going straight. And Can I move to gear? Let, and let the... No, stay in first gear for a second. And let the clutch go. Okay. And just go in your gas. See how that jerk? Yeah. That was good timing. Because if you just missed it a little bit, yeah. the car would have stalled. So the jerking gets better with time. Okay. So you're just <laughs> on your gas right now, right? Yeah. Good. So keep going, 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 going. Now you can actually press on, press on the gas, just like an automatic car. Yeah. Press on the gas. Sorry, it's just my thing. Here. So press on the gas. Okay. And you hear the RPMs going loud. Yeah. Engage the clutch just now. Go down. Go into second gear. And now keep pushing. Push. Oh! That's my girl. Yay! Keep flying. Keep flying. Okay. Keep flying. Keep going. Now you can just press on the clutch again, just because you have the gas now. Yeah. Now, anytime you're just pressing on the clutch to just move the gear. Now go into third gear. Third. My girl. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm done. Bye. Good job. Like literally, that's the joy. That's the fun part. Okay. Good job. So I'm not fast enough to go on fifth and fourth, right? No, I just don't think it would be necessary. Girl, there your go. gas light is on. No worries. <laughs> you pay me, madame. Hey. Sweet. Yeah. So okay, so I'm you're, down you're so approaching I can go your red light. On. Okay. What are you going to do? Engage the clutch, go to two? Just go into neutral. Just go into neutral? Yeah. Shake it. 
Good job. And now you can just press on the brake. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, don't apologize. That was not a stall, so you're good. Okay. So, what happens though is you would look at the kilometers and see that you're only doing 20. So, what would be the point in going down to two? So, you have to just make a quick decision, decision. and just go straight into neutral because you're already at 20 kilometers. If you're at 60, maybe 70 kilometers, um, in third gear, yeah. which is still quite high, then maybe you'd want to like do a little bit of a down downshift to two, and then. So I'll be neutral. honest, I haven't looked at any of this. Well, um, <clears throat> I know, no worries. You know, well, well, it was my first time, but like, yeah, and you didn't stall, which is really, really great. That's really good. Um, Thanks. So the thing with looking at this, it's just a good like marker to know. I did see it at twenty. I did see it when it was going above 20. I was just yeah. like, when you told me to switch, I think it was from one to two. One to two, exactly. So like you'll that, hear yeah. the sound and, and that helps <clears> with that. <throat> this. Wait, so my foot is on the ga on the brake. Good. You're in neutral. So I can, I can let go. You can even let go. Maybe it's going to roll or whatever, but brake oh, is yeah, the safety yeah. part. Yeah, I got you. But as long as you're in neutral, you can press on the So on I, the brake I'm essentially safety. parked right now. You can really go like press oh, the Oh, right. Yeah, that's brake. what I forgot. And then. Get a nice coffee and come back. Turn off the car and you're done. Turn off the car, yeah. Yeah. But the kilometers comes in handy when you're just kind of like, oh, like how you were you were right now. Like, should I downshift or should I just go up a up yeah, a gear? Yeah. You can kind of see, you know, how long do I have until this car stalls? Gotcha. Right? Because when I hit zero and you are still locked into a gear yeah. and you're at like five kilometers per hour, yeah. you're going to stall if you don't shift into a gear shift or gear. go into neutral safety zone. I do want to try one thing. As you were talking, mm -hmm. um, I want to try reversing. Of course. Yeah. Go okay. Press so, down. Ooh. Press down on the clutch. This, oh my God. I don't. Hold on. I need I to feel know. how many things yeah, are there. Yeah, there's three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the clutch. Yeah. I'm going to hover over the brake. Sure. Yeah. 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 How do we get to R? Up. Hmm? Up. Yeah. Yeah. But the safety mechanism is pop it's it. It's pop, pop it. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. So pop it first and then move it up. <laughs> pop, pop it, it for it. Pop it for real. Ooh. Okay. Mocha. Oh. Whoa. It's okay. It's okay. That was a stall. No worries. Good job. That's a, that's a stall? That, I know. It really dingets you. Honestly, I hate it when I stalled Jakob. Oh, I'm so sorry. But he so gets he, it. He, okay, he one stall so far. One stall. No, it's fine. So what do you have to do? You have to start the car again. The battery. Yeah, because it's it's letting you know that the car is off, but the battery is fine. The you, car's off. Yeah, because when you stall the car, it it's completely it's done like it's shut off. So to get the car back on and popping, you have to start the engine again. And to do that, I have to put the clutch key key. You got to start from zero. Yeah, but don't I have to push down on the clutch in order to turn the key? Yeah. So you yeah. got to start again. Oh, got you. Good job. I'm still in reverse. I know, but let's just re, re rejig. Recalibrate. So go into neutral. Just just for like the moment. Okay. Pop it. Pop it. Slowly. With the gas. And gas? I'm on the gas for reversing? Just a little. You're at completely zero. Good job. That's how you're... Good job! I don't like it. I yeah, don't like okay. it. I don't like then, it. Yeah. Shit. I just, I, it's shut off again. Yeah, it's still. No! <laughs> no! Sorry! Oh, no! <laughs> Betsy from Amsterdam. She's at. <laughs> I was doing so well. Yeah, she's at two stalls. Hold on. It's getting a little hot. She means business. It's getting a little hot. <sighs> Good job, though. I'm, I'm really on fire. Feel, feel his vest. Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay. The, okay, so why is the reverse being hard for me? Why is it hard? <laughs> the reverse is hard, maybe because you I, okay, hang on. I'm are telling yourself you're in reverse and you're not going forward. I'm not sure. Hang on, hang on. Okay, hang on. So this is off. I'm going to turn it back on. Yeah. I'm going to put it on neutral. Yeah, just refresh. Okay, refresh. Good. I'm going to put it, pop it, put it in reverse. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to slowly take my foot off of the clutch and then a little bit on the gas. 
depending on how far you want to you want to take it yeah and then what is that yeah that's you stalling what the hell why am i stalling what am i doing wrong you need a little bit of the gas you need to do the teeter-tottering between the two okay let me try that one last time mm -hmm. There we go. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. Is there a car behind me? No. No, I'm good. Yeah. So then now you're just gonna press into the clutch. Aw. No, we're just press the bit. I, I was almost there. <laughs> I swear, I was almost there. <laughs> I was so confident. I was almost there. I love that. Yeah. What? Okay. So if you were doing that, but you had already done laps in a driveway. You would have been done reversing, right? So right. then after that, all you gotta do, get back into the clutch. Two, one. And drive off hang on I think what's tripping me out between doing this and being in a automatic car mm -hmm. is so when I'm reversing in an automatic car yes I'm reversing yeah right but when I'm trying to when I'm done reversing and then I need to go forward yeah I'm pressing the, the brake and then I'm moving to drive do you see what I'm do you see I what get, I'm saying I get what so you're saying. naturally I'm reversing, but I'm just like, oh, you okay. need like a like I a need a pause step in between. In between. Two, two, one, one. yeah, one, Perfect. one, okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm also sorry to yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm literally like, don't say sorry to me. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's hella demoralizing the freaking start. <laughs> the start and stop. Ooh, we. See, let go of everything for a second while in neutral. Take your foot off of everything. Is it moving a little? No, not even a little. Not even a little, little? But it does move a lot. Yeah, I see it. Ooh, sorry, your receipt just went flying. No worries. Go ahead. Okay. So you want to drive up a little bit? So neutral, two, one, boom. Slowly let go of the clutch while pressing down on the gas. There's like a little timing, like the pedals. Are like, yeah. Sometimes, honestly. But I had it earlier. No, no. What I'll, happened? You know what it is? I'll, I'm really going to charge it to, like, sometimes, like, it's, like, the feet just are tired. Like, that could be it. Release. Your foot is already on the clutch from time. Yeah. So then all you want to do is slowly release and then there's going to be like a kick. It's like kick, kick. And then that's when the gas, you press down more on the gas. So it's like, whew. and then you can just use your gas only. Bye. But it's your first time. So maybe, man, I was on a zero stall streak, bro. It's okay. Now, 17, 18. No, I'm kidding. Are we up there? We no. Did, we haven't even reached double we, digits. No, we haven't even hit. No, I think it's all on one hand still. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're fine. Let's do it again, but this time... Actually, like, if it stalls, I'd rather it stall here than, like, you know, on the streets with, like, civilians and stuff, so... Yeah, but you're not driving... What? We're just... What? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe, uh, session one. So, so session <laughs> Yakko two. Yako got a new mama! <laughs> Shake it a little bit, get the nerves out, shake it, go into neutral, boom, boom, boom. Clutch in. Sorry. Good job. Yeah. So I still got Dame I don't know. I don't know. I still got Dame I am. I'm literally releasing the clutch. I swear. What about the gas, madam? I'm, I'm pressing it. No, I don't think you're pressing the gas. <laughs> <laughs> you're releasing the clutch. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Good. Two, one. Uh, it's three, do you? Yeah, that yeah, was three. You want it just as close to that should be one. Yeah, good job. So clutch is in. Give me some gas. Give me some gas. Give me gas. Oh my god! No gas. <laughs> I just need to walk, man. I just need to walk this off. I can't. I can't do it. Oh my god! My ankle is killing me. That's how it is, man. What the hell? I know. But it's okay. It all took a turn when mm. I wanted to learn the reverse. Learn the reverse. Yeah. I was fine before. I want to know 
Because I want to answer the question about the reverse. Yeah, do it. You take a walk. I'm going to figure out this reverse thing. Hold on. Did it stop again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Don't look at me, Matt. I'm sorry. Press the clutch and get me back into the neutral <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm walking home. I'm kidding. Clutch is still on. Press on the gas. I think you're letting go of the clutch too fast, my dear. Is it's, that it? Yeah, it's a, it's a little... It's a little it, dance. It's a cocktail, babes. It's, <laughs> it's giving vermouth. It's giving chartreuse. Like, you gotta boom, boom, boom. <laughs> clutch is in. Bring me the gas. Bring me the gas. Bring me the gas. Whoa. So it's like I day Mariam when I tell you I'm bringing you the gas. Like I'm bringing you the best. So what am I doing? I don't know. Let go of the clutch and press on the gas. Can I let go of the clutch immediately and then press on the gas? Can I, can I try that? No, it has to be a nice little thing. So like between them. Yeah. Because what what's happening right now, I think, is you're letting go of the clutch too fast. Too fast, and then the car is stalling. It has to be like a baton, like. Oh, like yeah, that's yeah. yeah. If you picture it like that, maybe it'll help. This is tricky because you're on a hill, so you you might stall a lot just naturally because hills are harder. Pressed. A little bit, give me some gas, give me some gas. Good job, great job, good job. Keep going with the gas, keep going with the gas. Okay. And then you're gonna hear the car make some noise because first gear is just not doing it anymore. Keep going. I just need to get away with this car. Yeah, it's fine. And then clutch. Oh, I hear it. Go second gear. Oh, I did second gear. Yeah. I did second yeah. gear. Should you gotta come third? up with something fast. Third? No, third? Stay, no, just put more gas on the second gear. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Scaffold! <laughs> Set! <laughs> Good job. Right now, if you go second gear, uh, sorry, third gear, it makes no sense because you're only going 20 kilometers an hour. Fucking <laughs> loser! <laughs> yo, yo, let me go third gear. Bro, you're going 50 kilometers an hour. You're going 50 kilometers an hour. Relax. Let's say you're approaching a red light right here. What would you do? Uh, clutch. Clutch in. Clutch in. Neutral. And then you could just roll and then press on the brake. Excellent. Good job. Great. Okay. Should we get... I feel like this whole thing took a turn when I started asking things about the reverse. Well, that's... Yeah, well, you need to know those things too, right? So that's fine. Good job. A little bit. Good job. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what like I still admire you though because like stalling on freaking on record like this <laughs> it's not easy it's not easy you know somebody has to do it yeah <laughs> is this moving forward I feel like I have vertigo just like I know in this car, bro. Let the let the brake go. I'm not on the brake. You're not. Yeah. Brake. So it was a little bit, um, just because we're. You could tell, right? We're kind of downhill. So no, the car was. That's another over. thing. I can't tell when we're downhill and up here uphill. Yeah. No, the car was, um, or is is kind of, but maybe it's found it's kind of bearing here. I don't know, but it was kind of rolling. Okay. Mhm. Mm How you feeling? Overwhelmed, but. Um, I'm happy it started off pretty well. It was literally just the reverse that ha has me like, and I think I think you're right. I think it's because like I freak out because I'm going backward. Mm hmm. But there's nothing to freak out about. It's it's the same thing. Clutch in, and it's like pressing the gas on reverse. Like that's crazy. But it's like you just need a little bit just to overcome whatever turn or whatever. So press the gas a little bit, and then the next time when you're in reverse, the next time you just hit the clutch. It's to kind of get you into a gear that makes you go straight. That's the only time you'll have to engage with the clutch again when you're in reverse. Otherwise, it's clutch, brake, and then into whatever gear you start driving then. Sorry, Jacob. Oh, he appreciates it. <laughs> Do you guys name your car? Comment below what you name your car. Girl, they want to see you, babes. I know. Show me the money, baby. <laughs> Show me the money, honey. Yo, that moon is wicked. Where's the moon? 
It's orange. <gasps> wow. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Shake it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. My Grab your bag too, you're taking the bus, babe. <laughs> I am sweating. Yeah. <sighs> what can I it just be? have this newfound respect for dad and you. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't get how you guys, like. Oof. Yeah. It's just the timing. When, when you get that down, and I know it's like, there's no. Okay, 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 so rate me, rate me. For somebody that didn't read anything about clutch, looking at these codes, like I don't understand why there's Code. numbers, <laughs> numbers on a gear and not letters. I'll what say would you rate? it being your very first time. But beyond that, like I've only been a passenger princess in a in a yeah. like manual yeah car yeah, and I haven't like read. You anything started about off it. really well. Like you started off really well. Mm -hmm. Um, so out of ten, what would you rate it? Overallness, I think you're like at a seven. Um, yeah, because it's like, you know what to do, like you have it down, it's just the timing now, and that's like a B plus, or is it a B minus? Anyway, it's not a C or anything, you're going to be okay. Okay, fine. Try it one more time going forward. Are, is your seatbelt on? <laughs> My prayers are on too, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I think Orobora. Neutralize. Neutral. Neutral. Clutch in. Two. One. Just. Clutch is in. Show me the gas. And now, press away. Oh. You did it, though. You keep our. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a win is a win. A win, a win is, is a win. win. A win is a win. Babes. You got us in the first half, let me tell you. Damn. Oh my god, oh my god. Sagan took a walk? I'm taking a walk. I'm taking a walk too. How can. Mm. Anyway, this is the moon we're talking about, by the way. Beautiful. Yuck, oh man. I am sorry. He needs a little break. I'll give him a car wash, I swear. He I'm already sorry. got a car wash. He needs some gas. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> he needs some benzene, baby. Did you show them the, the moon? Nice. Um, listen, I'm traumatized. I feel like my left leg is traumatized because I've never had to use it to drive a vehicle. And look, look at her. Yeah. <laughs> She's literally driving circles around me. I think I have Milky. I'm in neutral now. Am I in neutral? <laughs> Am I in neutral? <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Not the reverse. Watch, watch. Good help. <laughs> Wait, is there a break in between? I just, I don't know. Come on, man. A win is a win. A win is a win. A win is a win. Bye. <laughs> no. To everybody watching this, if you guys, if you guys drive manual or you drive automatic, but you know you can drive a manual car, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I don't know, it's always been automatic cars for me, but half of my family knows how to drive manual and the other half just kind of keep it cute with the automatic cars, so. <laughs> I just felt like, you know, if I'm ever back in Asmara, like, you know, I can just like drive a car, my solo dolo, or if I'm making a trip to like Europe, or say for instance, if I'm in a situation where I'm renting a car and they only have manual cars available or something like that. Like, I want to be like, yeah, I know how to drive manual car. It's like, it's like a skill. Like I want to, you know, just learn a new skill and that's okay. Today was lesson one, day one. And uh, we started off strong, like my sister said, but it is what it is. <laughs> we'll just, it honestly just took a left turn when I asked questions about reverse. 
there's no way to avoid reversing a car like you know what I mean anyways guys Are you gonna let me let me in the car? Or you're letting me. Yeah. Are you making me walk? Yeah. But the light, girl, the lighting here—it's giving. Yo, today's golden hour was fine. Today, today's golden hour was golden. I be happy. I had an ice cap earlier today, mm -hmm. and it was until you get. Thank you. Anyway, thank you so much for for teaching me. You're welcome. But also, you have patience, though. I, I wouldn't be able to do this with, like, Oh, you're a... sweet. Yeah, no worries. But I'm gonna do some reading. <laughs> but no, you have to... It's, it's a practical thing, right? Yeah. Like, it's just, like, reading or watching somebody else do it is, like... It's nice, but it doesn't get... But I like how we found a spot. Yeah, this is... Like, this is a really good spot. Yeah. <sighs> I'm tired, girl. But you know what's tired? You know what's really tired? Yeah, um, My... Yeah. My left foot, man. My left leg. Honestly. Leave me alone. For reals. 